first down at Sanders, and he has to elude a, a rusher coming in to stop the play early was Gerald Robinson, and that forced him into the arms of Tom Light. Hands on third down and a long seven. Pete hits his man. That is complete to Willie Green, and Green has the first down, Detroit, to the 42-yard line of the Lions. By not having the ball thrown his way more often. This is Sanders. Sanders forced wide again, so the Rams doing a good job on Sanders early. Not in control, Terry Sanders. He wants to keep throwing the ball. This is Sanders, and again, no room to go. But the Rams uh, so far making this work. The thing is with Barry Sanders, you know that eventually he's going to find something and burn you with a big run. It doesn't go on the plate. There's in 12. Bailey and Carroll into the game in the passing down. The secondary of the Rams and a sack. Sean Gilbert. Well, that little dance he did at the end, that means his hamstring's in good shape. Offensive series against the Lions. Jerome Bettis on first down to the 37 yard line and Spielman made the tackle good hold for him Bettis again and another fine hold for Bettis close to another first down he'll be short by about a half a yard in the I formation and they go to Lester on first down and he got a yard on the second down, pardon me, trying to get to the first, and he should be close. He's doing it on himself. He's given himself lots of pressure because he has a standard he likes to play to and feels he hasn't played to that standard. Amazon playing with a hip pointer injury. Lions are all banged up. A number of players playing and several out. Robert, and that is incomplete. In and out of the hands of Willie Anderson. It would have been short of the first down had he caught the ball. Gray went off limping, and meanwhile, Rodney Pete has to start from the eight. Larry Sanders, Sanders takes it outside. Good coverage on the corner, but he picked up about six. Let's go for the knee injury in last week's game. Came back in and ran one back for a touchdown, but he went limping off after that play. This is Sanders, he's got running room and a first down to the 28-yard line where Shane Conlon catches up with him. Comes down from the 23 of Detroit. With protection for Pete. Saw some running room, takes it straight ahead, and picks up about seven. Here's the, the offensive line. And uh, the tap still this year by some high-priced players. Pete, good catch by Herman Moore. First down to the 40-yard line. Now, he hold on to the ball. Drop it out of bounds. Third down. And he's got more here for a first down. Rodney Pete on the money to the 40-yard line of Los Angeles. 40-yard line of Los Angeles. Play action again. And Pete this time is clutch. He's got running room. Has the first down to the 27-yard line of Los Angeles. Green are the wide receivers. He's got three sets to the left. This is Sanders. Sanders trying to find running room. Can't do it. Good job by Fred Stokes, number 60. Stuck for the Lions. Flag is down. Pete off the target this time for Herman Moore. Had two men on him. Two of the Lions so far this year with a long of 44. And it is wide. Wide left. Thought the quarterback in four ahead of Mike Pagel, and a lot of fans are hoping to see him today. Rodney Pete is sacked first time today by the Rams. Gerald Robinson. Ben where Robinson is. Gilbert playing with a hamstring. And the bouquet goes down, bringing David Rocker in. Rocker fills in for both of those guys. Pete going deep sideline to Herman Moore, and it is intercepted. Todd Light. Fine interception. Into the action after uh, his foot injury. He's kept him out all of the season so far. Everett is complete. His first completion. And it goes to Henry Ellard with William White making the tackle and a gain of about 10 with third down and about a yard. Next the blockers in and Bettis gets the first down to the 39 yard line of Detroit. Look at him. Look, see how animated he is? And he wants more. And he's excited about playing. 
I love to see a big, strong guy go in there and just take off. You know, the starter earlier on, but Bettis has won that job. You'll see Gary on third down. And Bettis getting good running room. Fine blocking out the left side. Oh, I'm liking this. I love to see this. I love to see big, strong guy taking a look at him. I mean, he's for such a big man. He's in there at about 245 today. This is Bettis again. This time tripped up by Owens, but still diving through for the first down. What he does well, Tim, beside, you know, beside the feet and the strength, he uses his shoulders well. We run Gary in now on third down. Everett, and that's off the mark. It's going to be intercepted on a deflection. Ray Crockett. McKayer. That's Jim McKayer, number 33. That was Ray Crockett dressed like Tim McCarthy. Why it's called Robert. He just dropped himself with a pick right there. Robert himself. Ah, he dropped the ball for the other guy. That Anderson. Lots of time. Deep sideline for Moore. He's got this one. Rodney P went right back with the same play that he was intercepted on. He's on third and 15. Keep rolling back the other way for Sanders. Incomplete. And the Rams stayed right at home. Stokes was there, eyeballing Sanders the whole time. Los Angeles, no score here in the second period. On the 20-yard line, Bettis, and he has another Ram first down. And apparently, he bowled before he started to play football. He didn't play football until he was in high school. He had started uh, bowling in elementary school. His mom wanted to keep him off the streets, and that was an activity she chose for him, and he's still doing it all these years later, and he's very proficient. Frostic right there. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have to tell me and a couple other folks looking in who King Kong Bundy is. Oh, WWF, Yo, one of the great the wrestlers. Hands on the defense, number 54, hands to the face, five-yard penalty, first down. Brostick has a little bit more hair than King Kong Bundy did, though. See? He's got that little thing hanging out the back. Go watch out. Chris Spielman, number 54. He's into Brostick, got a hand up in the throat. Now, look, take it off. Now, the reason he's doing it is for the camera. Look at that bean right there. That's the Bundy bean. Five yard line of the Rams. Big drop forever out of the backfield. That's Lester, the fullback. Number 34, Tim Lester down and control them. They keep throw the ball. And they've done it. And there are no points scored by the Lions. And that is Cleveland Gary on third down. And Gary appears to have the first. Tim. Gary, who lost that starting job to Bettis, but uh, compliments him very well. Especially on an opportunity for them to get some points before the end of the half. He gets lots of time. Now flight and takes off running and gets about five. Well, he wanted Henry Ellard deep, and Ellard was covered. Rams with two timeouts left, second down, the 45-yard line of Detroit. Sack, loose ball. Lions have it. Tracy Scroggins, sore leg and all, put the hit on Everett. Jackie Slater at that right tackle spot. It's Robert Jenkins, his backup, the man who was beat. First down, Lions in. Sanders finally gets some running room and has a first down Detroit to the 32-yard line of Los Angeles. And from the 32-yard line, they have to make the Sanders pressure on Pete. And he is dumped. David Rocker. Third Ram sack of the afternoon with 50 seconds left. Up the middle is Herman Moore inside the 20 to the 18-yard line. Pat Terrell made the tackle. Hey, hey. Now that is Sean Gilbert. And he the ball in his hands. We're having the referee caucus right there. A roll to the right for Pete. And it is complete intended for Willie Green not a good pass and that is good so the Lions finally put some points on the scoreboard in this football game the Detroit Lions three the Los Angeles Rams nothing
few friends so far. If we give him the two catches that we felt Anderson should have made, still he would be five of nine for the pass rush for Detroit. And they sack Everett. The ball comes loose, but play is whistled dead. Flags fly. Red line, first down Lions. They lead. He gets it early in the third. Aubrey Matthews. And Matthews gets about six. Told him to get warm, and maybe we're going to see. Rubley at quarterback. Second year man from Tulsa. Sanders. Picks up about four. Going to the yard line. Play action. Eight. is the rookie tight end and he made a fine catch for a first down at Rams territory at the 35 yard line. They decided to rest him entirely. And that's complete to Herman Moore. Moore picks up about 10 to the 30 yard line. It'll leave second and five in Rams territory. Todd Light made the tackle. Herman Moore has been their entire offense just about. I mean, and that play right there, what, that ball was right. I mean, that came like a cannon from Pete. And Moore just stuck those big paws up there and clamped it. But what I like to see in a receiver, I like to see a receiver who uses his body well, he uses speed, but most important, he always makes the catch with his hands. There's a lot of guys who use body catches. Moore on that one stuck those hands up and made it. He's now 9 of 16, 147 yards. Sanders shakes loose from the first man, and he has the first down. For the Lions. And they go to Moore, and Moore may be short. Thomas Humko, the first-year linebacker out of Northwestern, comes up with a big play defensively for the Rams. Fourth down at the 26-yard line. And it's the same play the other way, and... Derek Moore fights his way, and he's got the first down. John Gilbert made the tackle, and Michael Stewart came in to help, but a good job by Derek Moore down at the 24-yard line. Lots of time for Pete. Now forced out by Gilbert, takes off running, and Pete dives in there for what should be another lion first down. Yeah, what I like about that with Rodney Pete right very decisive. Ran a counter OT back to Sanders' side. That's something that doesn't show up on your computer for now. On third down, in the corner of the fade for Matthews is incomplete. And he had Willie Green all open in the middle of the end zone. And he's got that. So the Lions widen their lead with 6.01 to go in the third quarter. Point six, the Rams nothing. Back from Tulsa. His first NFL appearance, he admits to being a little nervous about it. He's had only 20% uh, of the snaps in practice. And on first down, he goes to Bettis. Bettis picks up about four. In his shoulder, the report. Willie Anderson with Bruce Ribs is back in the game. Bettis on second down, and the Lions uh, stacking him up a little better than they had in the first half. Dan Owens making the stop. And his name is Theron Joseph, plus EJ. Rushed on this down. This is what he brings. He can run, and he's got the first down. Yeah, and he's not afraid. I mean, that's nervous energy. That's exuberance of youth. I mean, that's everything rolled up into one. Yeah, the guy's not there. Davenport West High School. Out for Bettis. Bettis breaks one tackle and gets down to the 37 yard line of the Lions. Lester had a good block for him and Spielman just missed him. Nice. Bettis. Third down. Long two. Bettis again. And Lester with another good block. Oh. Bettis has the first down. Hey, Tim Lester. Look, he's going over. Look at that. They are on top of their game. First down. Ruby play action again. Nice break. And he's got his man tight end. Drayton, the rookie from Penn State. Yeah, his, everybody's giving him high five. A guy like Bettis physically, but still had real good speed and wonderful feet. Rubley, and that's incomplete. He took the hit, intended for Ellard, incomplete. And Rubley was number three until this week, but even with the number two, uh, Chuck Knox gives 80% to the 
uh, the repetitions, uh, the plays during practice each week, 80% to the starter, 20% to the number two, so he just does not have a lot of work. And that punt goes out of bounds at the six-yard line, so good job by McJulian. Down and 10, on the five-yard line of the Lions. Sanders on the draw. And is pulled down by Newman after a gain of about seven. Pass and run by using his feet on a rollout. They drop off to Sanders. Sanders is stopped short. Roman Pfeiffer, excellent job. Pfeiffer number 58, help from Todd Light. And the Rams were ready for it. Holding on the defense, number 31, five-yard penalty, first down. And, uh, Israel starting today ahead of Robert Bailey, who started there last week. Play action and the sack. Tim Dokes and Pfeiffer both there. Tim Jokins. And defense picking it up a notch, making it tough on the Lions. And up the middle of Herman Moore. That's on the money, fighting for the first down. He'll be close. Pete with a fine pass. And he wasn't going to show him how. This is Derek Moore, and he has the first down on third and very short. So, in the struggle, and the 49ers trying to get the four and three. That's for Matthews. Oh, nice got it. Ball. Diving grab by Aubrey Matthews. First down at the 25-yard line of Los Angeles. And 10. Sanders trying again to get wide. This time he's got room on the corner and picks up nine. And what happens when you do have that, you have to maintain the outside. It's been effective for them. And Moore takes it inside this time, away from his blocker, Spielman, and has the first down. He gets time, has his man. That is Sanders. And Sanders to the six-yard line. Seven of eight. Sanders jumps outside, touchdown. Boy, that's vintage Barry Sanders. What's that? Yeah, and that's, you said it right there. Sees, look, everything in here, nothing there. Look where no one is. Outside, use your speed, turn the corner, and get six points. He makes it look so simple. Another look at the magic of Sanders. First down at the 20-yard line. T.J. Rootley at quarterback. And a flip back for Gary, and Cleveland Gary picks up about six. Four, seven yard gain, second and three. The ball bounces around, it comes down incomplete. Dropped like a linebacker. Three down and three. They're bringing a house. Rugley, he's got it. The Kinchin, first down, Rams. No, T.J. Rugley. Yeah, Rugley knew that they were going to blitz him a lot. 73 touchdown. Good beat. He's got a lot of room here. Yeah, no hesitation either, Tim. First down, Rams. His career here with the Rams in his eighth season. Rudley running out of time and ran into his old man, and it'll be a sack. Third of the day by the Lions. And the credit will go to Scroggins, number 59. Running all around in front of you. At that point, it looks like he just tried to get away. Couldn't quite get there. Gets back close to 10 yards. And they leave third down and about 10. Lions lead. Three wide receivers to the left. Ruby steps up in the pocket, hits his man, Kinchin. Woo! First down at the Lions 40. <laughs> that was a pro looking play. That was beautiful. Hey, LSU. And it's Kinchin again. And Kinchin another first down to the 27 yard line. Throw it up gets caught up there. Sometimes you get the call, sometimes you don't. And it's a first and 20 from the 38 now. Rubley rolling right, trying to find a man. Oh! He's got him, great in the ten. Unbelievable! Uh, rookie to rookie right there. First down at the 15-yard line of the Lions. 28, he's got him down at the 15 again. First down. Rubley getting lots of time, now runs out of there. And gets inside the 10 to the seven yard line. Short of the first down, but he'll have a second and about three with another flag down. Running. Holding on the defense, number 33, 
the penalty will be from the end of the run. That's Tim McHire. Fade to the corner, touchdown. Ernie Jones. Carter and McNeil. Hit Tim. The other thing that's lost in all this is the fact that Rubley held for the extra point. That's the first time since high school that, he, that he's held for a kick in a game. Gosh, Rubley knows exactly where he wants to go. You know what that shows? That means he knew the defense, he knew the setup, and he knew which receiver would be open. And Pete has to throw it away. P.J. Rubley. Comes a blitz. He's got a man open. That's Ellard, and Ellard with a first down to the 45-yard line. This is going to be fun to see what Hank Fuller, the defensive coordinator, does with this Detroit defense. They didn't put enough pressure on him. Cleveland Gary. He gets six. In the Lion territory at the 49. Second down, Rudley has time, hits his man, it'll be close to a first. Ellard at the 45. Yeah, that's a first down. Restricted on defense with what you can run, because all you have is the personnel that's out there. Rudley, he's got him. Unbelievable. First down to the 21-yard line. Tim, he can do no wrong. Right. First time on the field. Second year man, Kinchin's been a prime target. He's off right now. Short drop, and it's to Jones. Jones, who can score! Touchdown! to me from Rubley, but maybe not. Well, we got a tie ball game. A lot of time for Rodney Pete, but we had a lot of time on Rubley's touchdown pass. You're going to watch now. They went with motion. Safety sits in the middle. Now look. look. Bad angle. Oh, poor job right there by Harry Cole. That should have been attacked. Now watch Rubley. He knows where he wants to go. Ball's in the air. Left two of nine. Again, in fairness to him, two bad drops by Willie Anderson. Short kick out taken at the 10 by Turner. And Turner's got some running room. Hey, go get him, Vernon. Excellent return by Vernon Turner. is playing for the injured Mel Gray in that role. Michael Stewart finally got him. 45 yards. Tips down at the 45-yard line of Los Angeles. Heat with time. Off to Sanders. Sanders dances his way close to the 30-yard line of Los Angeles. Heck, he made Robert Bailey miss so bad. Bailey got up and came back and made the tackle. Well, he has a lot of company in <laughs> missing Barry oh, Sanders. Oh, yeah. Jason Hansen, second-year kicker, hoping for his opportunity to win it. Sanders trying to get wide right. It's up about four. Second and five. Peach got a man wide open. Rodney Holman to the one-yard line. <laughs> Great job by Rodney Peach. Great patience. Allowed Holman to go right down the hall, and ball is right where it has to be. Rodney Holman, the 12-year veteran. Yes. Hanson with what should be the winning field goal. Four seconds still on the clock. So even though Zendejas missed the point after, wouldn't have if everything else had been the same, it wouldn't have mattered. They come up with a miracle, and they're not going to give the running backs a chance. It bobbles around, and it's gonna be, the ball still loose. Finally, just buried at the 22-yard line by Boykin. And that's it. And the zeros are up. 
Well, well, Tim, the Rams, you're exactly right. They got what they were looking for out of Rubley. Now, he may not be the answer right away. Two atop the Central Division of the NFC, and that's what they wanted to do. The final score here in Anaheim, the Detroit Lions 16, the Los Angeles Rams 13.